Hey, uh, guys, uh, sorry for the TV upstairs, it's very loud. Guys, we are back doing another plush collection. Now, before we get started with this, and well, I have a few, for, a few more things to say after this, but I just want to say thank you guys so much just for the support on the first plush collection. Like, seriously, if it wasn't for that plush collection doing so well, I don't think I would have made this one. Like, look at those numbers. It, like, it's literally, like, my third most popular video. I mean, it was my second until the FNAF movie trailers beat that, which I don't really understand. But regardless, I am here bringing you to the 2024 plush collection. And this is basically uh, just showing off all of my new uh, recent plushies. Uh, well, that came from 2023, but they're in the 24, 2024 collection, and you, you know how it goes. But for this plush collection, I'm actually going to do it similar to how Travis has done it. Uh, for the past few years, I guess, uh, well, past few recent years, where basically she, uh, you know, got all of her plushies collected from that specific year, and it's just gonna be in this plush collection, like, though, only those new plushies are gonna be added, so basically, this is gonna be an updated plush collection, but I'm not gonna put that in the title, because, uh, it's just just plush collection 2024 plush collection it's better for views okay but if you do want to see all my other plushies that i have then just watch the first one and also speaking of the first one i would like to give a shout out to uh this comment right here uh that you know counted almost every single plushie in uh you know that first video and it apparently it totals up to like 315 and that's only if they counted uh, you know, the fo Foxy animatronic that I didn't show, and me, but I'm not counting me, so it's 315. Uh, and also, speaking of the Foxy animatronic, I have an honorable mention right here. Yeah, just to sh this is just to show you guys what he looks like, if you don't know or remember. Uh, yeah, so if you don't know from the first plush collection, I was not able to find him, and I didn't know where he was, but I found him a while ago, so I'll just show him here now. It's kind of hard to do the thing right here but like yeah that's what he looks like uh you gotta i gotta say i don't think anyone has really said it or even admitted it at least not as far as i've seen probably Pucko has uh but this is like one of the most obscure uh, pieces of fnaf merchandise i think i've ever seen like and, I, and that goes for both you know for, for both freddy and this guy like the jump scare animatronic plushies are so like they're good but they are just so weird and weirdly forgettable it just doesn't make sense uh, but I'm not going to count this guy in this plush collection. As I said, I already had him, so we're not counting him. But that, there's a reason why he was an honorable mention, so just get out of there. Anyways, though, uh, let's uh, go over the simple rules if you don't remember. One, if you don't remember, I am only going to be counting, uh, you know, FNAF canon characters or and such. Uh, and that does go for fan games too, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any fan game characters in here. Like, more or less fanverse, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, so, not, so don't really pay attention to that. Uh, and we're gonna be going by game order, and you know. Now, we're not gonna go be going by wave, because I'm mixing customs in with this, so I don't really see the point. But, now realizing it, I feel like those are the only two rules I have to announce. Wait, hold on, let me watch my first video to see what other rule I have, because I know I had a third rule. Okay, I just watched the first clip, and I realized I didn't actually make any rules. So all of that I stated was new. But, uh, but you know, to go off my first video, basically I'm including Funko plushies. Uh, but I'm also going to be including some Hex plushies, VNKVTL plushies, and Xmart plushies. And whatever brand made the Freddy Pillow Pet. I don't remember. Oh, wait, the brand is just Pillow Pets. Or CJ Products. I don't know. But anyways, without further ado and without any stalling... Let's get into the plush collection. To start off the 2024 plush collection, I'm going to, well, start off with the jumbos, and this jumbo is a radioactive foxy. Now, I don't really know why Funko even made this. I, I also feel like this is also kind of regrettable. Like, no one really talks about this, so it's just here. Now, a jumbo that actually came out recently uh, was from Christmas of last year, uh, and it's a jumbo Santa Freddy right here. Which uses like the rock, the Jumbo Rocks are Freddy. I mean, the, 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 you know, the actual like Christmas Freddy plush, uh, the original one, used the Rockstar Freddy pattern. So I don't know what I was like. I don't know what I was like. I don't know what I was expecting. So yeah. Sorry for that stutter. That was awful. 
Now here are two jumbos that Funko milk the hell out of in 2023. One of them being Moon, and the other, none other, being Sun. Uh, God. Hey, I, I gotta say, the one thing about the Sun plush jumbo, uh, two, like, I don't, I still don't really like these just because they bend so poorly and badly, especially, like, when they're in bags or whatever, if you order them off offline, it just takes forever for them to get straight. It, it, but yeah, th there they are. Uh, these honestly have no reason to exist. Now, here are two other Jumbos that also have no reason to exist other than for money. Uh, the Jumbo reversible heads of Bonnie and Freddy, and I have them on the, uh, the Nightmare side because I display them like that. Because I already have, like, the, uh, the original ones, like, split with the normal side. Uh, yeah, these have no reason to exist. Like with the Sun and Moon Jumbos, they, they literally just exist for money. Uh, which, I mean, I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm fine with them, but more money not only did funko like milking moon and sun uh they also liked milking freddy and bonnie and uh well we also got these <laughs> uh the 13.5 inch plushies i'm pretty sure i'm not sure what these are called preferably no no nor less like the measurement of these guys i don't know how tall these guys are maybe they're just 10 inches i don't know i don't feel like calculating but yeah these guys exist and i have no reason to believe that funko didn't do this for money now, here's a little medium jumbo that I kind of find quite interesting and what people most refer to as Eclipse. Yeah, this is basically a Sun and Moon hybrid, but it's not like Eclipse from Ruin. It's just, like, literally just Sun and Moon combined, and it's also just kind of, it's kind of poorly designed, I guess, you know? More or less with the Moon side, because they literally could have made this black, but they decided to make it gray like his other half. But if it was gray like his other half, it should be on here and not... There was a lot of weird decisions made with this plush. I'm telling you that. And it, oh no. Okay, I got him standing. And also, I still have the tag on him. You could see it right there. Yeah, I still got the tag on him because I've just been displaying him like with these two. I really don't know how I'm gonna use it in the videos. Now, the other one I mentioned earlier is none other than the Freddy Pillow Pillow. The, the Freddy Pillow Pet, which has became a meme among all FNAF memes, but it's actually an official thing now. Uh, yeah, if you remember, the Freddy Pillow Pets were actually kind of bootleg-ish, like, when they first got made or revealed, uh, and they forever been a Far Cry, uh, from memes on FNAF, I guess, well, maybe not Far Cry, but it's just become a very weird meme, uh, so now we have it as an official plush, official, uh, official pillow pet, actually, and yeah, I just have this, where do I put him? Right there, please don't knock anything over, okay, that actually works. Now, if you didn't believe me that Funko also milked Freddy and Bonnie, well, then you would be wrong, as we have the puppets. Yeah, the puppets. Uh, very, very strange. Also, I'm putting all these, like, medium-sized plushies with the jumbos just because it fits. And also, I w it would be very weird to put these things near FNAF 2, the FNAF 2 section, so they're just there. Also, they're standing straight because I put cups in them. Which I recommend for anyone who wants to display these to do that, because, to be fair, who's going to use these? Like, okay, let me just pull this out, for example. This is the most uncomfortable puppet I've ever had, and it's because of this mouth. Like, my hands or fingers that fit fine, like, they fit fine when I'm moving, like, the arms or whatever. It does get tiring after a while, though, but it's this mouth. How do you control that? I guess to finish off the, uh, jumbo, the section of this video i'm going to be showing the only hex plushies i have because these are actually decently big uh and the first hex plush i ever got was the uh autistic the gold spring bonnie uh, i'm sorry if you heard that but like <laughs> oh no golden spring bonnie now i originally thought this plushie was actually going to look very bad just because of the gold material that it was using like it but but like you know having this plush in hand it's actually really nice you know like and it's decent you know and also, I just like gold things. More or less shiny things. Oh god, you guys are gonna fall, aren't you? Don't do it, please. Eclipse, stay up. Okay, thank you. Now, to finish off the jumbo section, I have none other than the weirdly big Hex Puppet Plush, which look literally is just a puppet plush, like an accurate puppet plush, which I really like this thing. I don't have his gift, I don't have her gift box because. It, 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 why, why would you need that? Why would you want to see it? It's just a gift box. If you want to see the gift box, though, then watch a review on that. But, yeah. Th <laughs> this is technically... Okay, only really, uh... Like... Well, uh, six. Only really six of these, or... Seven. 
Uh, only really seven of these uh, are actually like jumbos. All the rest are kind of medium-ish. Whatever you want to call that thing or whatever. I guess it, it could be... I, I don't know if it's jumbo or medium, but it's big. If it's, if it's as big as a pillow, and these guys are as big as a pillow, I'm pretty sure. Now we're gonna actually start with the small plushies. And remember, I'm going in game order. I'm not going in like, you know, wave order because... Let's be honest, I am not good at remembering when these things came out. To start off with FNAF 1, we have none other than the GOAT, Fred. Yeah, so uh, when the FNAF movie released, I went to this little collectible place or whatever, and they had like stuff up for like Halloween and stuff, because obviously FNAF movie was releasing around Halloween. Uh, and they just had this randomly, and I decided to get it. It's a good stuff, uh, Freddy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean... I mean, hold on. Where's good stuff? It's on here somewhere. Maybe or not. I don't know. But either the way, we have good stuff Freddy here. Uh, Looking as derpy as ever. Also, he was only sold for six bucks. So I don't think I was robbed. Moving alongside good stuff Freddy, we have bootleg Sanchi Chica. That's actually really tiny. Yeah. I also got this at like a little, not a collectible place, but like a, not a vendor's market. I don't know what you call it. But I just got this mainly just because. I don't know. I wanted. I just. I just wanted to. Uh, also, the bib comes off if you can see with the Velcro, but I'm not gonna do that. And God. Also, this bib kind of sucks because <laughs> it just pulls all the way back because of how tight it is or whatever. Also, this was sold for uh, ten bucks. I. I don't think I was robbed on that. I was definitely on this. So, some regrets. Now showing a plush that I got for well my birthday I guess. Uh. Well, I mean yeah. I mean I, I did get it for my birthday. I don't know why I'm saying I guess is none other than the legendary golden freddy the official one because you remember in my first collection first plush collection i had a bootleg of this guy because i couldn't get him because he was too expensive uh but over the years i have grown uh, in revenue and uh revenue so uh yeah and i also started a mercari page which it's uh pretty sure it's linked down below i'm pretty sure i don't remember I'm pretty sure it is, but yeah, uh, after a while, I was actually able to finally get the real Golden Freddy, and I probably, I got a pretty good one, I would say, uh, you know, not every plush is perfect, uh, I mean, except this guy, I guess, but yeah, there's a Golden Freddy, and to go along with him, I guess, uh, well, actually, wait, hold on, no, nah, never mind, it really would, it would, it would, it's fine either way, uh, here's Shadow Freddy, which is another one I got, that I finally got, Jesus, I don't, I don't remember how much I paid for this guy again. I mean, you can watch my video to see, because I'm pretty sure I might have told it. My my guess was like 200 something dollars uh, for this, which is actually pretty good since it goes for like 300 or so. So, I mean, I got it now. Now we're going into FNAF 2, which another one I got that I've been wanting for a while is BB with how... God, look how orange he's getting. God damn, he's really turned into Trump. I swear to God. Uh, okay, wait, actually, he looks fine on camera, but uh, guys, in real time, he looks like absolute shit. I'm just kidding, you're good. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten you if you weren't. But yeah, guys, I finally got BB after a while. If you didn't see the video, then I titled it like the I got the rarest FNAF plush because during the time, there were not a lot of BBs available anywhere. So I thought he was going to be the rarest. So that's why I titled it the rarest, but I retitled it like one of the rarest or whatever because people were getting mad at me. That this guy was rarer, I will say they're true, kind of, but, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, if you were to search BBs by the time I got this thing, or actually when I was getting it, you would see there was literally none existed. I guess I'll also say that 2023 was, like, the year of collecting everything. Like, I collected, like, a majority of the rest of the FNAF plushies I needed, and I pretty much did. Like, I got every, almost every single FNAF plush besides, like, the Jumbos, like, but every normal FNAF plush, like, normal-sized. I got all, I got pretty much every, like, normal-sized FNAF plush. And, uh, well, I'm only saying that because I'm introducing Mangle, the actual Mangle, not Nightmare Mangle, you stupid fucks. Uh, sorry, but yeah, like, I got Mangle or Nightmare Mangle, honestly, I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, I, after a while, I got Mangle. Now, I was, originally, I was originally going to do a review on Mangle, uh, and the same goes for, like, the other rare FNAF plush that I got that I didn't make a video on, but I generally uh, just didn't want to make a video on these, because one, they weren't as rare, I mean, they were rare, but they weren't as, uh, you know, 
they weren't especially treated as like these two or, or or these three actually so i didn't make it i was i was actually originally going to do a parody of Jaden's review on the actual mangle but uh i didn't end up doing it because uh Mangle wasn't all that special. Not more special than these. I'm sorry, Mangle. Now I'm going to be showing off the weird era of uh, 2023 FNAF where bootlegs literally were taking over. Uh, and that is none other, none other than Xmart or whatever. Look them up and you'll find more information or just go to sci I really don't know. Uh, or just watch my reviews actually. Uh, but yeah, Xmart uh, was just another bootleg company, I guess. Oh, okay, wait. What am I doing? I'm telling you guys to look this stuff on your own while I'm telling you it. It doesn't make sense. You know what, BB? Fuck you. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. You guys don't have to do research. But basically, x -Heart was like uh, a bootleg company. The But they actually made good bootlegs. Not, 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 okay. Well, you're good stuff, so you're kind of official. But not like this bootleg, but these bootlegs. Like, they made actual good plushies, which I was surprised about. And they look so good. Like, look at Wizard Bonnie here. Like, look at it. Literally, he's literally perfect. Like, look at all these. Like, the Wizards are peak and actually recently uh they are back x smarts are back x, x smarts x smart god damn x smart is uh reportedly back i guess uh as on amazon they've released a one of their newest plushies uh fred bearer and there's two versions with like no eye rings and uh eye rings i guess uh you know like basically the stuff the pizza sim guys had on their eyes uh if anyone in their right mind would choose uh you know the eye rings i would i would say otherwise i guess i'm not making any sense this video guys i i'm just telling you i'm going through a whirlwind of emotions i don't even know if that was a word i could use but maybe i don't know i'm already back at school people are still home what anyways that is it for fnaf 2 uh and now going on to fnaf 3 i'm pretty sure i only have like Oh, wait, no, I don't have one for FNAF 3. I have two more. Uh, but the one I have for FNAF 3 I got uh, this year, or 2023, is none other, none other than Phantom BB. And I got this guy before the actual one, so logic. Okay, we're already having to move to the floor, but uh, I don't think this should take as long as, uh, you know, the last one did. I don't think it's going to be an hour long, guys, because I'm already almost a quarter of the way through. Continuing FNAF 3, I have uh, the, uh, well bootleg i guess yeah of the vnk vtl guys or whatever vt v huh oh anyway, wait guys i guess i should also say this is my glitch trap costume uh that i made one time if you saw my community post a few years back or if you saw my comic con video on my second channel which was as I, it was actually my last video on my second channel what am i doing with that channel i have no idea honestly moving you there instead but yeah here are the vnk vtl uh plushies which these are kind of like Xmart, but a little bit worse. Like these guys are, like some of them are good. Like ones I'll show later are good. But because these guys use all the printing, they're very like hard plushies. Like, like you can't really like feel like you're pressing into something squishy without feeling like you have to put some force into it. Like that's what getting these guys out of the box felt like. Also, if you're noticing that the wires are shorter and look like shit, that's because I cut them, because I didn't like how long they were. Although, that was probably a mistake. I don't know why I even decided to do that. I guess I just wanted more decent Phantom Freddy, I guess. I don't know. And Chica literally looks like she fell in a toilet. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, like, basically, these guys are stiff as hell. Like, look, 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 at, look, at, look, at, look at this. Look at that. I don't know why I just showed you guys uh, Phantom Chica's cleavage, but anyways. Uh, yeah, moving on to, you know, from FNAF 3. Now, I did actually get some things from FNAF 4. Reportedly, too, because uh, I pretty much already done FNAF for it, and I don't really need to make customs for it. But I got um, another Nightmare Freddy actually recently. Uh, I will not explain why I have another Nightmare Freddy, but you do know it that it's another because look at it. Also, this one has more detail, I think. Like these little sewn in withering parts or whatever, these aren't, these aren't there on my Nightmare Freddy, the original. So, I might just keep this guy as it is. I don't think I'm going to customize him. And besides, I don't even know if what I'm, what I'm going to customize him into. Also, I don't really think there's a point. Okay, reportedly three, because I forgot I got this guy. Uh, the official Nightmare Bonnie, which, yes, I finally have, you know, the official Nightmare Bonnie. That's a Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, I'm pretty sure he, re he re released in Walgreens. At least reportedly. Uh, but, you know, 
I have them. But another one that I didn't really make a video about that I got, that's a rare one, the official Nightmare Cupcake. Which, um, okay, if you saw my last plush collection and you saw the bootleg Nightmare Cupcake, you'd be confused if I just pulled out the same one. Because honestly, the bootleg can, can challenge the official one, if I'm being completely honest. Now, we don't really have much for Sister Location or Pizza Sim. We do have one for Sister Location, though, but it's just another bootleg bonnet that I got. It was actually, and I got this at the, actually at the same place I got this Chica, uh, which honestly, okay, this, oh god, this sold for $15? I feel like I'm ripped. I'm being ripped off right now. Now, like I said, we don't have any for Pizza Sim because I have had any motivation to make every other Pizza Sim character. Uh, but I do have only one for uh, Help Wanted, uh, and that is none other than, none other than the uh, VNKVTL Glitch Trap. Which, uh, yes, this is the one by v v VNKVTL, the ones that made these solid rock pieces of plush. Uh, yeah, like they made this, and honestly, this is probably their best one. Just because of how accurate it is and just how nice it feels. Like, this is actually squishy and not... It doesn't feel like I'm squishing into granite or something. Oh, no. But, yeah, there's Glitch Trap. I just realized this is a very weird line of uh, plushies. But, honestly, this is weirder. This is weirder. I'm twisting my word. Now, going into FNAF AR. And the only ones I really have here are just, like, the new official ones by Funko. And that one of them is the official, rock, not the Rockstar Freddy. Oh my God, I am losing my mom. Firework Freddy, the official Firework Freddy. And God, I, I want Funko to use this Firework Freddy pattern more, more or less with the head. Like this is a very good Freddy head, like a Freddy for a Freddy pattern, you know, just a really good one. Uh, I don't know if the same could be said for Black Car Bonnie, but you know, it seems like I have. Uh, I am the one among among my small group, and by group I mean only one other person that really does not like this plush all that much. I mean I like it, but I definitely feel like there's a few weird changes or decisions actually that were made to this. If I'm being completely honest, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but one plush that I am very proud about, or just glad that I have, I guess, uh, is the Frostbite BB plush, and this is. This was the first BB I got. So before that one and before this one. Yeah, yeah, this is my first one. And I'm glad I got it because this is actually a very accurate plush. And I don't know how. Uh, I mean, it uses the BB pattern. And it actually has a sewn-in face that looks good. The, I guess I should mention that this guy is based off of Help Wanted. Which even in and of itself, I can see why people don't like it. Now we're going into Security Breach slash Security Breach Ruin because, I mean... It's a DLC, so I might as well count it with Security Breach as a whole. Uh, but anyway, starting off, we have the actual official Glamrock Freddy and, well, all the other Glamrock plushies, if I can grab them. Uh, yeah, so basically, like, the I decided to get the official, you know, Funko plushies uh, as I just, like, wanted something of, like, actual, not value, but I guess, like, I just wanted, like, an actual piece of merch of Funkos that I didn't destroy. I mean, my customs are better, obviously, but I wanted li at least something, I guess, you know. Uh, and I also got the soft fanny. Like, these are all the soft versions because I the, 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 the scratchy ones are, are, are obscure now. So, <laughs> yeah, these are, like, what I have now. Well, I mean, I guess I also have uh, this customized Monty that I use now instead of my, well, old one, which was basically, basically the old one. I covered the entire plush. That it didn't even look like the original Monty base. So I basically wanted to make a new Monty and make him or have him have like some key features that made him resemble the original Funko plush. Because pretty much all my other uh, Secure Breach customs like of the Glamrocks do that. Except for Monty. So that's why I did it. And I mean if you saw like one of my most recent videos on the Shattereds or whatever of 2023. Uh, then you'll you'll know. Speaking of which, uh, here is Shattered Freddy, which, yes, I, I made Shattered Freddy based off that one Halloween post or whatever, I think. I don't even know if it was Halloween. I don't even know, but people thought it was for Ruin. Then it wasn't. It was just for a promotion for something I can't remember. Uh, but one thing about this plush, which I've notoriously mentioned along many, many paths or whatever, I don't think I can even say that. I don't know. Uh, but I have had this plush... Signed by the official voice actor for Glamour Freddy Kellengoff, 
I don't know why I said the official voice actor. I could have just said Kelly Golf. But yeah, Kelly Golf actually signed this because uh, if, like you go, you go to my second channel, uh, then you would know that I actually got this signed by Kelly Golf. And if you don't believe me, it's right there. I don't know what else to tell you. I don't, I don't care if you don't believe it's real. It is. Next up is uh, the new Shattered Monty, which uses the Monty base that doesn't completely make this look like a whole new thing. Uh, and I think I actually did good on this, like, decent on. Like, like I didn't really, t like, turn away from, like, the original plush. And, you know, I mean, same kind of goes for that one. But, like, I didn't really do much that, you know, made this stand out uh, too much or whatever. Like, I like it, you know, like what I did. It's very, it's more simple, I feel like. Uh, and, well, here's, <laughs> here's Shattered Roxanne, which uh, was also a new, a new uh, updated one because I, uh, well, well, because the original one kind of sucked. So I just have this now. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, great. That's great. <sighs> yeah, it is actually a better one, though. And another updated one I have is of uh, Shadow Chica, you know, which also looks 10 times better, I feel like. I mean, just look at it. Look at it. You can't go wrong with it. Uh, one thing, though, I will mention, uh, these three Shattered's, not Monty. Um, if you guys remember how I showed, like, duplicate uh, plushies of, like, Glamrock Freddy and Roxanne and stuff, I said that I was going to use those to remake the Shattered's or whatever. And besides Glamrock Freddy, I didn't tell you I was making this guy, but... Yeah, I basically used those to make these guys. So, let's just, we're just not going to count these three. We're still going to count these because I didn't put, like, a Bonte duplicate in the Blast Plus collection. So, minus three. <laughs> Next up is the official Sun. I'll actually put them back there. Just because. Uh, but the official Sun and Moon plushies by Funko, which I still think these guys are really good. Not as good as the action figures. I feel like the action figures are peak. Uh, but, I mean, that's to be expected. Although, not really, because uh, action figures have taken a slope. Or just... They've slumped, I guess. But Funko decided not to do that with uh, Sun and Moon for some reason. I mean, I can only guess why. But it's our way, we got official characters and not... Whatever this is, but we'll get to that later. Okay, now, if you also remember... <laughs> I know I keep saying if you remember from my first plush collection, but honestly, that's the only way I could really get by through some of the plushies I'm showing. But, you know, if you remember from the first plush collection, uh, you know, I had all of, like, the staff bots, like, you know, of Map Bot, the normal staff bot, and uh, the Nightmare bots or whatever. Uh, I had them all, and basically, over time, I actually updated them to have, like, these type of limbs uh except for the lace because they have wheels uh but like i have them now i have them like have these little uh you know stubby limbs uh and their little boxes are kind of smaller inch to make them shorter and hopefully almost as tall as these guys but i don't think that's the case really but uh basically i have made a new one that i don't think i've shown yet or that i've yet to show and it's under earth and the party bot I think that's his name. I don't remember what his name is, but yeah, I'm really proud of this guy. Like, it, like it just looks really accurate. I'm surprised I made it look this accurate. And also, also the the, the keypad right here, or whatever it is. Uh, hold on, I can't. Faz, faz comms, the faz comms or whatever, whatever this is. Obviously, I printed this out. You can clearly see it. Uh, and also, if you see this little envelope right here, uh, originally this was hanging on like a very small thread of cardboard. Uh, which this is cardboard, I mean, you can tell. Uh, but basically, this fell off, so now it's glued. And you can see the glue. Uh, but I actually decided to give it a backside and not have it just be cardboard, you know. That's how much I care for a plushie that I never show. <laughs> but, yeah, there, there's Party Bot. Now the final plush for Ruin's main game uh, that I showed. Well, that I've yet to show because I'm showing it now. Uh, well, actually, that wouldn't really make sense. What? Oh. Swear to God, I've had a stroke in like the last five minutes. Every every five minutes of this plush collection, I swear to God. Uh, anyways, here is a remake of a plush that a lot of people actually like, but I didn't like it, so I remade it. And you've seen it in Conjure of Spirits, so you already know what it is. But yeah, it's Burn Trap, uh, a new Burn Trap. I mean, people like this. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's more accurate. So I don't know. I mean, there's people saying that you know, 
they liked the original more or whatever. And by people, I mean Jaden. <laughs> but, you know, I really like this, though. You know, like, I just really like it. It's way more accurate, way more better detailed. I mean, look at this. Look at the separation. Like, this is what the first burn trap should have been. But then again, that's how every other custom goes when it's a security breach or just when it's a new FNAF game. It always looks like crap, but I always end up fixing it later on. Well, uh, we got our second lie. The first lie was saying there was only two. Now there's uh, one more for security breach. Uh, the the bootleg VNK VTL burn trap. I forgot. I forgot. The, I forgot about this thing. Honestly, when I look back at it, is this this isn't that great, but it's still good, I guess. If you do, if you can't make customs, then I guess this is for you. At least it was. I don't know if it's available anymore. I have no idea since V and KFTL are under a new name. I have no idea what that name is, so uh, do your research on that part. But now, getting into Ruin, we have Cassie. You know, Cassie here, which is using the same body style as uh, Gregory. Like I said in my review of her, or whatever, or actually all the other Ruin characters, so... I mean, yeah. Next up, we have Ruin Freddy, if... Uh, you recognize the face. That's because I based the red eyes and stuff. Well, mainly just the red eyes. Uh, off of Saipai's Ruin Freddy. Uh, and I think mine's at least better. Because I can do this. I can do that. Next up is Ruin Monty. Who's literally just a skeleton. Like, he's literally just a skeleton. With no legs. So, I don't know how anyone ha how no one has really put that together. Or maybe someone has and they just haven't publicly shared it. I mean, honestly, not everyone has the internet. Uh, but... Here is a book. Okay, but next up is a uh, Ruin Roxanne, which I actually use uh, like the old Shattered custom of Roxanne for this. You could tell just because of how inaccurate some of the details are on here. I mean, like, look at that hair. Oh, God, there's a hole. Anyways, next up is uh, Ruin Chica. Now, you may be thinking this is not Ruin Chica because in my Ruin review video, I did not show Chica like this. And that's because, well, this isn't the original that I showed in that review, this is a new one. And the original I had, or whatever, I sold it. Because, uh, I used, like, like with Roxanne, I used the old, you know, Shattered Chica custom, or whatever. Uh, but then I realized I can do better, so I did. And I decided to sell that one on my Makari. Which I hopefully is, which hopefully is linked. I don't, why can't I remember that if I have a Makari? Hold on. I do have Makari linked, I'm freaking stupid. Next up is the actual Eclipse and not whatever that is. Uh, but yeah, here is the actual Eclipse character. Now, I will be honest, this is, like I've said it before, this is my least favorite out of all the Ruin customs I made. It's just very sloppy, especially with this part. I might remake it, if I'm being completely honest. But then again, there's bootleg companies that exist to make these things look better and good. So, I don't know. Next up is just a little guy that gets abused in Help Wanted 2. Uh, help I, or actually, yeah, well, not really, because this is Help I, not Help E. Help I, or Help E, with an I. I don't know how people pronounce this, but he here is Help e from, like, Help from Ruin. I don't know why I almost said Help Wanted 2, God damn it. But yeah, uh, his body uses this fleece that was really a pain in the ass to work with, because using fleece is like bending silly string. It just gets everywhere. I'm just kidding. It doesn't get everywhere, but it does curl up. Uh, but yeah, here's Helpy or Help I. I swear to God, I really don't care. Next up is uh, Mixes right here, which I really like this just because of how accurate I can. I mean, maybe not accurate because the head, if I'm being completely honest, isn't that accurate. But I'm glad with how accurate I could make it. I'm going to put this guy in the back because he's very tall. That works fine. Next up is uh, Glam Rock Bonnie. Uh, okay, funny enough, I based this guy off of the, uh, like, po like, the cardboard cutout we see in, like, the Monty Ride in Ruin, uh, and I initially tried to make, like, the shattered version, because I made this version first, like, I wanted to make the shattered version look, in log like, almost a wizard version of this, but I literally just made it, uh, like, the same thing as he is in-game, so, when you look at it, there's not a lot of similarities that this guy turned into this guy. Because you're beat up by this guy. Next up, we have... The I'm just kidding. I'm not... I'm not doing that. It's a dead meme. It was left in 2023. Please, let's just... Let it stay there. 
Uh, I'm grabbing another plush. My hands are adjusting. Here is the costume of the Mimic, or the Mimic in a costume. Uh, I wasn't really going to put red eyes in the mouth, but then again, that, that, lo that looked dumb. I'm so very proud of this. Like, I'm proud of all the detail. This is also, like, a hard as balls custom to make, just because of how proportionally accurate I had to make the head. Because if I didn't, it would look very stupid. I am a buffoon. I forgot about this guy, who is FNAF AR. Uh, let's just make some quick adjustments. And you're going right there. Problem solved. Okay, we've basically gone through every other game, except for the newest one, uh, which is Help Wanted 2. And I only have one custom made for this. I don't know if I'm going to make, like, customs like Ruin Music Man or whatever, just because... The, the original Music Man took me long enough to make, and it was already hard, hard enough to make, so I don't know if I'm going to make a second one, but I might. Uh, but, I mean, the only one I ever ma other made from Help One, it, it's Carney. It's Carney right here. Uh, yeah, Carney. Carney that everyone named Righty because we just wanted to. Uh, but, yeah, I do like Carney in Help Wanted 2. It's just a weird character that still honestly didn't need to add. Like, they could have used Rockstar Freddy or just... Uh, maybe even Ringmaster Foxy uh, for the Phaser Blast mini game, but I mean, they decided to actually make a new character for it. Uh, and this character, you know, is a good character. Like, I really like it. Uh, I did use a Rockstar Freddy base for this, uh, like an old customized one, but I was able to modify enough to for, to where you know it could look normalish. Uh, although I do feel like I made his eyes look more like freaking normal Freddy, I guess. Uh, but I mean, Carney's there. Uh, and also, I, I like, there's one person that makes Carney like a velvet red or something. I can kind of see where they're coming from. I'm not going to point out names because I don't want to, I don't want to get docs. Okay, but now we are actually done with the games and we're moving on to the glorious FNAF movie. Probably one of the biggest highlights of, uh, you know, 2023 for FNAF. Because people are still talking about it. Uh, and we'll start off with uh, Movie Freddy right here. Uh, which I gave him this little shiny bow tie. Because I made this guy a while before the movie even released. So I thought he was just, yeah. I just realized that didn't even make sense. Uh, next up is Movie Bonnie. Which I feel like had a lot of change. Whether it's with color or with color. Then we have uh, Movie Chica. Wow, why do I feel like... Did I say Ruin Bonnie? I'm going to check the footage. No, I said it right. Am I drunk? Next is Movie Foxy, which I uh, updated if you haven't seen it yet. I mean, you might have if you've seen what the last two are going to be. Or actually, last three. Well, now it's going to be last two because uh, here's Cupcake. The mischievous little critter. Who and the, and they, they say that Bonnie is the most dangerous. Uh, Scott, uh, may, you clearly haven't watched your own movie. To finish the FNAF movie line over here, we have, uh, why can't I remember the name? Why am I, why am I thinking? It's Golden Fr Movie Golden Friday right there with the Sans Eye. Then the last movie custom we have is none other than the Yellow Rabbit, aka Spring Bonnie or Spring Trap. Spring Bonnie though, probably because the, 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 there's no real, real, real resemblance of Spring Trap. Spring Trap's a rotten corpse. Matthew Lillard was still getting his cock ripped out when he was in this suit in the movie. I'm sorry I said that. Uh, crap. Okay, now moving on to the miscellaneous characters. Like I did with the last one, like, with the tie-dyes and stuff. Uh, that Funko decided to make because, uh, money. Uh, but yeah, this year, or 2023 actually, I got, uh, the, the Blacklight Cupcake plush. I don't know why I was starting on that. But yeah, if you remembered, I didn't have this guy. Now I do, and I'm glad I do because... Honestly, if you guys want to know the full story or whatever, okay, maybe not the full story, but basically I customized all my black lights because that was during an era when no one cared about the black lights. I don't know why I did that because honestly, it served me no purpose. Next up, we have like the UK exclusive, I would say, uh, the freaking tie-dye spring trap. Okay, he's not, he's not UK exclusive because I actually saw him one time in my Walmart, but I already had him, so... I ended up spending 50 bucks on this guy for nothing. <laughs> but yeah, like basically this guy was only in UK. He was only in the UK for like months, almost a year. But, but, but we got him now. So that's great. 
Now onto the balloon circus wave where people just started to think that Funko are just cheapskates. But then again, I like these guys if I'm being honest. First up, we have uh, Circus Freddy. Uh, that is his actual name, not Clown Freddy for some reason. Uh, and then we have Circus Bonnie, which is very freaking soft. Uh, oh, I hit, oh, I hit the bell. Well, I mean, he has bells on his ears, so I don't know what I was thinking. Then we have Circus Foxy, who's meant to look like a sad clown with the tear, but he just looks, he looks confused, if I'm being completely honest. I guess I should also mention, what the hell was Funko even doing, though, with the, adding the, those black lines around, like, the buttons and such and this? Like, I'm fine with them adding black lines around some things, just so we can see what it is, I guess. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if there's ever been a plush that's done that, actually, with the printing. But God, that line is actually so thick. Look at that. But next up, we have Balloon Freddy, who looks like a little kid. Balloon Foxy. If I can stand him up. And Balloon Chica that I actually found at a Walmart. And I didn't order it online like most of the exclusives now because I don't trust my country. Now, the last wave, which I kind of wish wasn't the last wave for... Uh, you know, ending off the, the, the plush collection because it's kind of weird. I moved them over a little, but uh, we have Santa Freddy uh, right here. Uh, I've already gave you my opinions on the Christmas plushies. I don't really think they're the best. Like, like these are this is like one of the only times where I actually don't like the plushies. But then again, I'm fine with them if it's just for Christmas or whatever. Uh, but then we got Elf Bonnie, which I feel like does it much better than Santa Freddy. Honestly, I might just hate this guy. Fuck you, Santa Freight. And then next we have Snow Chica, which is actually probably one of the best ones in this wave. Bonnie's better than Freddy, but probably, but he, I don't think he's the best. Mainly because of this, like what? That is like two different shades. And next up we have Gingerbread Foxy, whose teeth are like mm, actually. And now the last plush of this wave and of the plush collection is none other than Nutcracker Foxy. Who has no stuffed hat. Why do you not stuff their hats, Funko? I don't get this. I'm done. Ah! Now, this, guys, is every new FNAF plush that I got throughout 2023. Now it's a part of the 2024 collection. And I'll do a 2025 collection because, let's be honest, this video is probably going to do well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Like I said, if the video, if the first plush collection didn't get the support it did, I wouldn't have made a second one. And if I'm being honest, this wasn't that much harder since there's a lot less, obviously. Uh, and I don't think this video was an hour long. At least I don't think, at least I don't hope it was. But now, unlike uh, the last plush collection, because it literally was impossible for me because I just can't. Uh, I'm actually going to try to count these guys, hopefully without losing track. So, according to my calculations, hopefully, there is 83 new plushies in this collection, at least the ones I've shown. I probably got a lot more, but they aren't FNAF, so forget them. Now, I'm actually going to go calculate from this and add it to the new collection. Um, I don't know if this is frustrating for me, because I think it is, but there are now 398 plushies in my collection. Wow, I, uh didn't think it was going to be that close to 400 i need something for the title i'll grab two more i'll explain why so i'm including the human characters this time <laughs> so yeah i if you remember i said i wasn't going to include human characters in the last plush collection then i did anyway uh but you know that was only for like canon characters now this is jeremy like jeremy fitzgerald now, the design here isn't necessarily canon, but it is based off a canon character in the FNAF, you know, games or whatever, or at least in the first one. So, I feel like this, it's, it's only necessary. So, yeah, and, and, like, this is Jeremy from Horror Show, but I'm putting him here because I just want to get to 400. I also have Fritz Gerald, which is for the, uh, you know, second Horror Show movie, which I promise that's probably going to come out this summer hopefully uh but yeah i never actually showed the design for this guy uh but yeah here is a uh, fritz smith actually wait did i call him fritz gerald let me look back at the recording i did call him fritz gerald this is fritz smith everyone fritz smith which it is actually a caring and it's it's a canon character because i'm pretty sure in fnaf 2 the paycheck says fritz smith don't correct me if i'm wrong because i don't want to 
I don't want to feel I want to feel disappointment. But yeah, Fritz Smith, he it, it, even if that's not his actual name, he's still a canon character because he's been mentioned. The name Fritz has been mentioned. So yeah, now we're at four hundred. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, we have uh, four hundred for this collection. So uh, whoopee. Hey guys, uh, editor Adam here, and uh, I just realized when I was looking back and editing this video. When I showed the sh new Shattered plushies of, like, Glamrock Freddy and Chica and Roxy, I said minus three because I already showed the bases of them in the first plush collection, yet I counted them in the in the whole thing. So, the total isn't, like, 400. It's, like, 397, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, it's still gonna be in a title. Uh, anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this plush collection. Uh, obviously, if this does well, if this does well, that does. What am I saying? If this does well, then obviously there will be a new one next year, uh, with probably the same amount. Because let's be honest, this is probably as much as I'll be getting every year. <laughs> uh, that is if Funko stops, which I don't want them to. But yes, guys, this is you know every plush I got in 2023 for the 2024 collection doesn't really make sense now that i think about it but it doesn't matter we are here well i am here now showing you all this and well i'm just hopefully glad that hopefully you guys enjoyed this you know just seeing more of the plushies i got and the plushies i made along the way of 2023 or whatever like the long across the i know huh okay i'm just gonna end the video here i'm just purposely dragging this out anyways that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll say goodbye. Oh! I stay lit, on some I stay lit, not like flickering lights. Right. Good vibes and good times go well like chicken with rice. Right. Squad goes, it's me, myself, and I, and just like smart homes. Trust me, the whole club know I arrived. I just want to step over a velvet rope and people yell my name like a welcome home. Charmy and love my umbrellas closed. The club going up just like how swellings grow. Put on my finest pair of clothes. Club so packed I could barely move. Stepping